Hey there, everyone. Paradise Gamer 13 here. Abruptly starting my uh, next episode here of uh, Pokemon 3D, uh, because uh, as you can see here on the screen in front of you, I have encountered a Fion. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. So uh, I might as well try to catch it. I, I was, you know, I was encountering like you know typical tentacruels and stuff, and I was thinking, I was like, man, I really wish I would have bought a repel or something. And now I'm thinking, well, it's a good thing I didn't because I. Probably would not have encountered uh, such a whoa. That did way more than I expected. I was say I was assuming that was a crit because of the acid armor. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> but um, oh wait, I probably don't have any. Oh, do I? I have pokeballs. <laughs> that's that's all I have. Um, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, this stinks. Um, I wonder if he's because he's. He's not like a legendary, I don't think, technically speaking, but he's like something, isn't he? Uh, I mean, he's not a normal Pokemon, so I don't know if, if I beat him, if there's only like one of them, I guess, if I if I just run away, if that'll, uh, like if it's like the legendary dogs or something like that, if I'll have another shot at it, but I was not expecting this. Of course, he didn't seem to have any attacking, oh no, he had Bubble Beam, that's right, I was going to say. I was like, that'd be kind of weird if he didn't. Um, is he the opposite gender of me? Does he have a gender? He might not. I don't really know. Sometimes those like legendary Pokemon and Pokemon that are kind of grouped in with it don't have genders. So, um, let's. If I caught him with a Pokeball, I'd be enthused. Ah, ah. Okay. I I actually got really excited there for a moment. Um, I don't. I've never used. I think I've used Manaphy before. You see, he's the one that has Tail Glow, right? Um. But other than that, I don't really have any experience with these guys. Um, other than the fact that I think they're a water type, which is probably pretty obvious, given the fact that I'm fighting them in the water. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyway, so basically in this episode, I'll probably uh, fight Chuck. And, yeah, that's that. And then the next episode, I'll probably try to either fight, Jas fight Jasmine and or try to hunt down... Um, Inethil, who would be the next in the uh, next guy I need to find. I'm still not sure. He gave me a hint about being in the shadows, but I'm still not <laughs> particularly certain. Oh, whoa! We don't want that here. You know what? I should have just thrown that last Pokeball. I don't. I had one left, but whatever. I'm, I'm going to maybe track him down eventually at some point. But here I am. I'm at Signwood City. Um, I don't know where. I mean. The only place I can think of, like, I mean, I guess there's, like, a lot of places that could, you know, be, like, in, like, some corner of a map or something that could be shadowy. But the only, like, thematically, the only place I can think of would be, like, uh, the Ecruteek Gym. Or Lavender Town, but that's, that's far away. Uh, so I'm not sure. I'll have to keep an eye out. But in the meantime, like I said, Chuck's are our main focus for this video. I don't think it'll be too difficult. I've got, uh, a pretty durable setup against him, more or less. Uh, with a psychic type, a flying type. I guess that's really all that particularly stands out. Um, does somebody already have strength? Incidentally, I should probably look that up. Because I don't remember if I... I don't think I did, but... Uh... Nope. I think I was like... I think I was thinking of uh, teaching it to... What's his name? Um, Charmeleon. And I don't think I did. Yeah. Well, I could teach it to... I'll just teach you to Linoon. He gets the stab bonus anyway, so... It's better than Headbutt. Or, is it? Headbutt had seven... Does, uh, I didn't realize. Maybe Headbutt does a little more damage than I thought. But, um... Regardless, that's kind of irrelevant. Because I'm going to the Pokemon Gym. What's this? Oh, yeah, it's the... Oh, maybe it's a cave! I didn't think about that, where he uh, where he would be hiding. I'll have to think about that some more. Um, hmm. Okay, well, let's... Um, who do I want to, to lead off? See, it's too bad you can't get fly before this gym. That certainly would be convenient. I see you peeking around the corner at me. Yeah. You're not going to sneak up on me. I'm going to just take you down with my Zen headbutt using uh, uh, Metagross. Should be not too difficult. Uh, and 
Oh. Well, that's not gonna do much. I'm trying to think. I was thinking, I was like, well, maybe they have... I don't know about Hip Hitmon Lee, probably can't. Ooh, level 47. Um, but I'm guessing Hit... Well... Oh, well, well now you only have one Pokemon. Um, I think the other guy, yeah, this guy's a Hitmonchan, though. And, um... Black Belt Lao. I wonder if he can learn Psycho Punch. Which, technically speaking, is not a punching move. Because, uh, by, like, it's not affected by Iron, uh, Iron Fist, or whatever it's called, and stuff like that. Hence why, I guess, um, the trio and stuff can learn. Because it's basically, I think the way the attack description or whatever describes it is, like, it can be, it doesn't have to be fists. It can be, like, I assume, like, the trio's case, like, unexpectedly throwing a rock or something at its opponent. <laughs> or, I don't know, popping up underneath it or something, I guess, I don't know. Just basically taking your opponent by surprise, more so than actually, like, physically punching it. Um, but regardless, that guy, these guys are just falling easily, so your little mini army of Machokes isn't going to even phase me at this point. Um, and wow, that seemed like a fast level up. Um, I mean, I'm not going to complain, but that was like two Pokemon, so what, I didn't, well, they were like 43. Huh. Well, regardless, uh, let's take care of this easy strength puzzle here that I hopefully didn't mess up. Okay, good. Um, this gym just feels very much more claustrophobic than I remember it from uh, before, but my Raging Fist will shatter your Pokemon. I don't know why you would be fighting my Pokemon instead of your Pokemon fighting my Pokemon, but if that's how you want to do it, obviously. So he basically <laughs> I don't know what, why he would say that when he doesn't even fight my Pokemon. It's his Pokemon fighting my Pokemon. Also, these guys seem to like having the exact same Pokemon multiple times. And... Hitmon, yeah, Hitmon Top was introduced in this generation. I can't remember if... I know uh, Bruno has one. Ooh, a Breloom. Throwing a curveball at me now. Of course, you're, uh... Yeah, you're still gonna have the same fate as your uh, primate friends did, but regardless, I got shattered. Yes, you did. So now, I'm going to go here and talk to Chuck. Wahaha, so you've come this far. Let me tell you, though, I'm tough. My Pokemon will crush stones and shatter bones. Watch this. <laughs> I like how I specifically move over in front of the rock. Oh, yes. I, let me observe that a little closer. And then... There, scared now, are you? What? It has nothing to do with Pokemon? That's true. <laughs> come on, we shall do battle. I still... I think they... Didn't they censor that in the uh, the remakes? He doesn't say crush bones and shatter stones or whatever anymore, I think. I think. I could be wrong on that. I know that they've, like, in a lot of the remakes, of, like they did it with the, the first-gen remakes. My favorite one is the, uh, uh, or at least one of my favorite ones, is they, uh, well, they, um, this is, like, crazy. I'm getting all kinds of uh, level ups. But, um, in Heart, or, uh, Fire Red and Leaf Green, the, well, in the original Gen 1 games, there was an enemy type called Gamblers. So obviously they they uh, evidently felt that it was important to... Uh, oh, yeah, there's two Pokemon? Oh, that's right. That's a thing. Um, they changed it to, I think, just Gamer. So um, there's one Gambler slash Gamer who in the first Gen games, he says something like, Oh, I'm a rambling, gambling dude or something like that. And so they changed it to, which are like rhymes, so I guess that's fine. Um, well, I lost it about that. You're worthy of the storm badge. But in the, the remix, he just says, um, I'm a rambling gaming dude, which doesn't rhyme. So it sounds a little more awkward, in my opinion. But that's just a random rant that I really has no point at all. Because I just got the storm badge, which is uh, makes all Pokemon up to level 70 obey, even traded ones. Also, lets your Pokemon use fl level 70. That seems really high for this point in the game. I mean, I know, like, I remember, like, the first few gyms, it's always like, oh, level 20 or whatever, and then it just, like, spikes dramatically. Um, but when you're not in a battle, take this to TM1, which is Dynamic Punch. Yes. Doesn't always hit, but when it does, it causes confusion. Unless you have a Machamp with no guard, then it always hits. But, um, yes. So that's that. Uh, I will be on my way to pick up Fly. And head back to... Oh, no. I was about to leave Olivine, and I forgot to... I still have to get the potion from the, the medicine guy. 
One of your spars with this? Okay, you're not his wife. Um, where is she? She's over here, I guess. I walked right past her. Um, you crossed the sea to get here. That must have been hard. It would be much easier if Pokemon knew how to fly. Yes, it would. Although, I wouldn't be able to fly here anyways, because you can only fly to places that you've already visited. But regardless, that's irrelevant. Teach fly to your Pokemon. You'll be able to fly instantly. And fly anywhere you've visited. My husband lost to you, so he needs to train harder. That's good, since he was getting a little chubby. All right. Well, now I can teach fly to uh, my Dodrio. I don't know if I feel safe flying on flying on this thing to get to uh, ba back across the ocean. I might. <laughs> that might not end too well. Um, I was. I think I've already mentioned this before on something, but I, I always enjoy the uh, like the pictures of like Dodrio quote flying. I guess with like spinning its heads around like a helicopter. But regardless, um, I, where is the messing guy? I think this is the Shuckle guy. Oh, wow. Help! He's stealing my Pokemon! Ah, oh, you caught up. Too bad I beat you here. What? Give it back? Only if you can beat me. Well, this is unexpected. <laughs> I, so that's a new thing. It's a good thing I stopped. I was like, I was like, ah, I don't need a Shuckle. I'll just pass up this guy. <laughs> I just happened to enter here on accident. Um, That's pretty cool. Let's uh go ahead and smash his Glade. Wow. My Metagross is just a destruction machine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use Bullet Punch because, yeah, I should be able to take it on like two hits. Or one? Wow. Okay. I can't complain about that. And now this Gengar will definitely outspeed me, I think. Yeah. And, uh, okay, good. I lived. Oh, sweet. I mean, it's not going to matter because I'm already at such low health. But, um,. Yeah, I knew he wasn't going to live that. And there's another level, so that's... It's like a level up Palooza, this video. But, uh... Last but not least, Golbat, who I might outspeed. Yes. Um... And... I would say at least I had outsped him the past couple times, I feel like. I still haven't found good Pokemon. Silver... I, why didn't he use his Shuckle? This Pokemon is weak anyways. Perfect for a weak trainer like you. Out of my way. Or wait... Yeah. So let's talk to Mr. Shuckle Guy here. I, I'm in shock. Thank you for saving my Pokemon. I'm not strong enough to protect it. If he comes back, could you please take care of it for me? Yes. Your Pokemon... Oh, that's right. Um, I guess I better... I wonder if... Uh, I assume it's Shuckle. Let's just take a look. Why are you here? Silver, you won. I can tell by looking at you. Yes. Thank you. I can tell by looking at you, since you have a badge on you that you didn't have before, probably. Um, so I am going to just move Roselia. I'll just move her right here for the time being. And then go pick up the Shuckle, and then I'll probably end up this in this part here. Um, oh, there's the medicine place. I walked right by it, too. Um, oh. <laughs> what? What happened? I want my shuckle. Well. Hi, Silver. I'm here. Please give me a shuckle or somebody. What did you do to that guy? Well, regardless, I guess the, <laughs> he said, oh, you know, I need you to take my Pokemon in case he comes back. And I guess he came back and uh, don't really know what happened to him. But regardless, I guess I'll just end this part here then. Um, if you guys like this video, I'd appreciate that like button. <laughs> I'm going the wrong way. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and uh, want to get notified of future content and stuff. And as always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks again for watching.